Hi Not Board Gamers and welcome back to Not Board Gaming. I'm your host, I'm Mark, and this very, very, very special episode is an unboxing video and it's unboxing of a game I've been waiting kind of most of this year to receive. It's one of my most anticipated Kickstarters of the year. And I think I'm literally one of the last people in the UK to get fulfillment on this as well. I've been watching this fulfillment go for the last two weeks and it's now Monday the 23rd of November uh, and my game has just arrived. Fun fact, um, in almost exactly a month's time on Monday, on, on the 22nd of December, I turn 50, but I feel like my early birthday present has arrived. It's my all-in pledge for Alter Quest by one of my favourite publishers. That's right, it's Blacklist Games. As you can see behind me, the box is absolutely huge and we have also the neoprene mats in there as well. I went all in on this pledge uh, about 18 months ago, something like that, when it was on Kickstarter. So I've been waiting in eager anticipation for this. I've seen everybody else's videos online. I'm so excited about what's in this package. So without much further ado, let's have a look at what you get inside the all-in pledge for Alter Quest by Blacklist Games. This is so very, very, very exciting. So right in front of us, we can see the huge, huge box that's got everything in there. And also this box complaining, containing the neoprene mats. Obviously, we'll look at that towards the end. What we'll do right now is just cut into this absolutely massive, humongous, gargantuan, one of the biggest boxes I've received. And bear in mind, I got my Etherfield quest uh, pledge suit like a week or so ago. Uh, and I think because I didn't go all in on Etherfields, this box dwarfs what I got on Etherfield. So let's get rid of the... Packing and what's the first thing out of the box? Uh, 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 it's all very well wrapped up. We have this package, which I believe is oh, so so exciting. Cut the bubble wrap off. Uh, the base game of that's not very exciting. There we go. That's the core box for Alter Quest, and as you can see. The thing is huge, but inside this box, we still have more stuff. Let's get rid of more packing stuff. And what do we have in here? We have, oh Jesus. Whoa. Ah. We have two more parcels in here. Two more parcels. Whoa. We have the first four, which I also ordered as well, which is, I think, sorry, my mic slipped down then, uh, I think, the first four characters for the game and in here we should have the stretch goals box and also the expansion as well which we do the ruins of arkenspire so wow here we have the ruins of arkenspire box and here we have oh, the stretch goals box this is a workout and a half this is i mean when you look at everything that you get together and the stretch goals box is actually bigger than the uh, the base game box look at that for a package wow that's everything that you get inside the big box of the all-in pledge but we're not quite done because i've also got these things here which are the neoprene mats so let's have a look inside this <laughs> and we have two huge neoprene mats one for the base game and one for the stretch goals themselves so we'll look at those in a wee while wow that's a lot of content there but that's not really a true unboxing video that's just showing you what i got inside the package let's go through this box by box and have a look at what you get in the all-in pledge of alter quest by Blacklist Games. Okay, so here we have the base game box of Alter Quest, a cooperative game of fantasy adventure for one to four players designed by Adam and Brady, Brady Sadler. And as you can see, it's a, about a hand span and a half across, but it's a big thick box as well, nearly through about three quarters of a hand span. And there we go on the back and I've moved one of my lights so we can see this a little bit better here. It tells you all the contents, a rule book, story guide, game board, custom, 10 custom dice, 76 miniatures, 25 card dividers, 12 base rings, 374 tokens and 446 cards. Choose your hero deck and prepare yourselves for adventure. Oh my God. So all across the troubled lands of Ardikia, 
uh, sorry, uh, Aridika, uh, altars plague the forgotten places, the dank dungeons, ruined castles, endless caves and power-hungry villains seek them out in hopes to harness the corrupted magic that emanates from them. Ooh, sounds exciting. So what we'll do is we'll use the knife. Oh, we go backwards a little bit and we'll break through the cellophane and we'll see what we get inside this massive car bo core box of Alter Quest by our friends at Blacklist Games. Now let me just turn this light down a little bit here so we can see inside better. Okay, so we've got the base game here. Let's take the box lid off. And as you can see, it's got there, it says MDS, modular deck system. If you played Street Masters, if you played Brook City, uh, then you'll know exactly how this works. So first thing is, is the rule book. And the rule book is some 28 pages long. Now, I do, I have some prior knowledge of how the modular deck system works, being a big Street Masters fan and being a Brook City fan. So I believe that will give me some kind of advantage in reading the rules. But it all looks relatively straightforward. You can see there a picture of the board itself, hero actions, threat turn, villain turn, additional rules, test procedure, equipment, alter dine, dice and runes, Running out of cards in a deck, conditional effects, campaign games. So there's a campaign here as well, which is absolutely fantastic. As you know, in uh, in Street Masters, you could string stories together, uh, but this gives you a campaign in here. It'd be really interesting to see how a campaign game goes with this. And the wonderful artwork as well. It really is fantastic. And here we have Out of Looks and a Story Guide. So this is various chapters and things. You must play through the stories as you go through it. It looks great. Looks absolutely fantastic, and the artwork is just beautiful. I am so looking forward to kind of delving into this. So we have a few punch boards as well. There's a punch board full of tokens there. Some more tokens, a step, some torches, shields, various characters. Some hit points, I should imagine they are. Maybe they're magic points or shield points. Uh, and more tokens there. And then we have the board itself. We'll come back to the board in a bit, I always kind of like to open that up a little bit later. So, as we can see here, we have some dice. Now, one of the things that the modular deck system do, is known for is the use of dice, and these are this beautiful kind of aqua, frosty blue color. And the great thing about the MDS system is there aren't really any wasted die rolls. What will happen is that you will get use at least one effect that's on your dice that you roll there. So that's really, really good, and they're a great, say, kind of frosty blue color. We have some black dice here. These look like, I don't know, maybe for runes or something like that. We have some colored base rings. So when the, when the, um, in the MDS system, when the baddies come out, they will generally come out of a particular color and you'll put that color on the board, on the base of the baddie that's coming out. And uh, that will tell you, and that will link up to the cards that they're, they're pulling out from. We have just so many cards. So there's some dividers. We have the hunt, let's have a look. We have equipment cards. So quella has got this uh, sky fire exhaust, a flame and deal one damage to each enemy within range. There's a Frox Raider, which are these froggy type people. Uh, five and one, don't know what that means yet. Engage, inflict five if unable. So, okay, so let's have a look. We have frocks themselves. I mean, there. Are, I'm not gonna go through all of the cards because there are just loads and loads and loads of cards here. And I don't know if there's enough, and for, for those of you that sleeve your cards, I'm sorry, I don't. I've only sleeved them in a couple of games. I think Marvel Champions and Mage Knight are the only sleeved cards I've got. Uh, there may be enough room here for sleeved cards. I don't know. Depends, I suppose, what you, what you get. That's Bulks the Belch Lord. And if you're British, that Bulks is very close to uh, another particular swear word. We have the Raglanders there. And here we go, this Rowan Laughlin. Here we go, this kind of... Um, uh, kind of Frodo looking character on there. Um, the, show, the showdown. So here we go, the rescue. If a hero controls a prisoner and its token is adjacent to the altar, at least one hero with no enemies in the room, the hero wins. Okay, so there must be some kind of objective cards. And we also have some more bad guy cards here. Escape and Gert, the villain. Okay, and I think that might lift up. Oh no, that's fine, that's all there is in that particular one. So let's have a look here. We have some minis. In fact, we have loads of minis. 
So I believe that the ones that are in light in this particular pack are the uh, are the heroes. So we have you know the, the kind of Frodo looking guy. We have this lady with a shield and the mini quality miniature quality is really good i know uh for those of you that have uh, blacklist have recently launched a miniature line as well and the quality is pretty damn good on these um people better than me have already started painting them if you look online you can see there's some really good painted miniatures online uh, i do paint but not obsessively um i just have too many games with miniatures I've got Kingdom Death Monster for crying out loud, so therefore, <laughs> you know, I'm never short of anything to paint. But I do like the quality on these, and if this quality goes along into the Blacklist future releases like um, Dire Alliance, I'll be really, really happy. Here we have some kind of look at this, some kind of gate, or altar maybe I don't know, but it looks beautiful. And I haven't played this. I played Contra. I played Contra against Scotty at Essen last year in 2019. But I didn't get a chance to play Alter Quest as a demo. So I'm looking forward to kind of going in this as a virgin. Look at that. That's some kind of frocks there. Really good detailing on the minis. We have, maybe that's an altar. I don't know. Some kind of stone henge type thing. We have a weapons rack. There we go. Again, the detailing is absolutely fantastic. We have a field of mushrooms. Yeah, maybe in my youth I'd been looking for a field of mushrooms, but at a very advanced age, it's not my thing anymore. And here we go, we have a desk with a book and some magical potions on there. And what's over here? We have a mirror, there we go, of some sort. And we have a chest just here as well. Let's have a quick look. No, it's not gonna come out just yet. What else is in here? We have these guys, which are Looks like the frocks. Again, the quality on the miniature is really, really, really good. I'll not pull everything out. And what's this down here? We have, again, some frocks. He's got like a blow dart thing going on there. So, yeah, really nice representation. Oh, we've got a book bookshelf as well. Look at these. These are great. I mean, you know, say if this is the quality of what we're getting in the uh, in the Blacklist Miniature series, then I'm really, really excited by that. But that is not all, because of course, as we saw in the box, we have even more. So what do we have here? We have a number of doors, and these doors are partially open. Now, if you love painting miniatures, this is so going to be your game. You could literally not even play the game and have so much fun just painting these really high quality minis that you get here. And I suppose you can use them for many other games. If minis are your thing, maybe you're into D&D, &D, et cetera, and that's the whole point of the fantasy series, of course, is these minis can be used in many, many other games. Look at that, some kind of gargoyle demon thing on top of a pillar. We have, let's get back in that way. We have this person who looks kind of, Pietus and the, the hands are in kind of almost a praying position. We have oh, these guys, which look like some kind of piggy orky things. Look at them, they're great. <laughs> There's so much fun in here. This is just a lot of content, and this is the base game alone. This is what you get in only the base game. We've not touched or talked about or opened yet the, the kind of um, the expansions and the uh, uh, the first four and the stretch goals, etc. But let's have a look at this board now. So, of course, I've, I've got the neoprene mats as well. Uh, it's one of my, I didn't get neoprene mat for uh, for Brook City as a, like a fool. Uh, and it's one of my big regrets. I really wish I'd have got a neoprene mat for Brook City. And saying there are some mats that you can get for uh, street, uh, street Masters. Here we go, look at this really pops, the artwork really pops. And I know it's a static map, but it's dynamic, I think, based on what you're playing, basically. So you will add features to this and various doors in things. And it looks absolutely great. Some really nice colors on there. That's really rather special. Okay, so that's the base game done. Plenty to go out in the base game, but we're not just here for the base game, are we? We're here to look at what else you get in an all-in pledge. So. Let's now look at oh, the stretch goals. Now, this box, as I say, is kind of bigger than the base game box on its own. 
Uh, it doesn't tell you what's in there, but of course, as the campaign progressed and got more successful, more and more things appeared in the stretch goals. Uh, and that's the thing. The more successful the campaign is, the more stretch goals you get, the bigger the box is going to be for the stretch goals. And, you know, some companies send them out in various waves. But, uh, our friends at uh, Blacklist Games, we've got everything together. So let's open oh, this stretch goals box. Alter Quest stretch goals. Whew, okay. So we've got another game board. We have some more altar dice, 135 miniatures and 417 cards. Various expansions and icons there. And there we go, we've got the credits there of the people that were involved. There we go. Uh, Mike Delicio was involved. Um, so yeah, various people there who, um, who kind of pulled the game, helped pull the game together. We have another high quality board. So this is just gonna be a variant on the board that we've already seen. Uh, so I'll not open that now. In fact, we'll have a look at that as uh, when I do the neoprene mats. So we have these guys in this bag. No idea. The stretch goals will tell me everything. I can remember I had so much fun with uh, Street Masters Aftershock because I didn't have the base game of Street Masters. Just kind of working out what went where and what goes together. And I came up with a storage solution which included like a plastic, separate plastic kind of uh, cabinet for them. Here we are. These must be the various altar dice. We have more coloured base rings here. There we go. They will go with the others. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of cards there, as well as some more dividers as well. And we'll not go through all the cards, but you can see that there are various bad guys in there and various entities in there, uh, maybe adventures, etc. I don't know until we open them, but all those things are in there. That's just that's fantastic. Okay, and now we go through two. Whew. Even more miniatures. Wow. And it looks like this game has got us absolutely covered for everything. We have some kind of cage here. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I don't want to be the person that's in the cage. We have this thing, another altar. It looks like a, a weeping angel that's on there of some sort. We have, oh, oh, these kind of plinths that have some chain on the front as well with a lock. They do not want you to get in there. We have, ah, oh, Mounds of treasure are here we go. So this is various bits in here. There looks to be is there skeletons in there? Maybe not treasure, maybe just garbage. Who knows? Who knows? We have a cauldron. Yes. Hubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. There we go. Nice cauldron. I've seen somebody paint one of those online and it looks really effective. Again, some kind of magical thing, maybe a gate or something. And uh, what else? where did that go? How did that go that way? I'm not very good at putting that back. There we go. We have some crates. Crates always mean good, if, and that's got stuff in it. Uh, obviously, if you played Street Masters, you know crates good. Oh, look at this guy here. We have a tango orange kind of translucent guy bursting from the ground. What he is, we do not know. We have this kind of wolfen type character look at him baying at the moon and he's got a quiver of arrows at his back as well and again the detailing is really good right down to the the abs on their belly that's somebody who does a lot of sit-ups uh, unlike me uh, <laughs> this is more like me in terms of its physicality we have a rather stout fellow carrying a shield and an axe now i know if i wandered around the streets of sheffield where i live with a street uh, with a shield and an axe I uh, might look a little bit out of place. And what do we have here? A horse face. We have horse face here carrying two swords with a flowing kind of coat there. Oh, I want to show you this guy. Again, not show you everything in here. Look at this. Again, some kind of transmogrified and transmuted wolfen type creature with big bristly muscles <laughs> i can't see that ending good for anybody that comes across them and what's this over here I'll just have a look at this one we'll look at some of the interesting ones without showing you everything well it's a leopard type thing yeah so some kind of uh yeah creature with a tail it's a creature with a tail there we go 
Yeah, and uh, here we go, one of the, from this particular box. We have this thing, this lady, maybe. Yeah, lady with a big sword there. Yeah. Fantastic. So that's one box of minis, but of course we're not done because under there we have another box of minis and that's not the end. Even under this, there's yet, look, another box of minis as well. So what do we have here? We have this kind of, this, I don't know, I want to say ratty looking features on there, like a muscly rat with these kind of spears and uh, knives on the end of its hands. Don't look pleasant to come across. I've got a feeling they're going to kind of deliver a considerable amount of damage. We have this kind of hooded lady as well. Is it hooded? Yeah, a hooded lady with a crossbow. Again, well, uh, the uh, the saddlers are not, you know, kind of not hesitant about making fearless women within their games as well. There is uh, this kind of Charlton Heston looking dude <laughs> with some kind of moon sickle uh, staff there. Look at that. Yeah, he may look un uh, kind of unsurprising or unsupposing, but I bet he delivers a wicked punch. That's the same guy. Sorry. And here we have, uh, again, a muscly wolven type character here. Yeah. It's everything my dog thinks that he is, but unfortunately Bubba is very small and he has small dog syndrome. Here we have some horned devil looking thing with this big, big wielding a big kind of skull cracking axe there. Look at that. Again, detailing is fantastic and I can see that people will have so much fun painting these miniatures. We have a bird type creature here, or at least somebody with a plague mask, but I think it's a bird type creature. Again, with two swords, and uh, over here we have a flame girl. Looks like she's got some kind of flaming torch on top of there, and she's got horns as well. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. I'm just trying to work out where everything goes. So that must go back in that way. You've got to look at the other stuff to put it away. And what's this one? Ah, oh. oh, look at this. They look like casting some kind of weird magic, magical spells coming out of there. Fantastic. Fantastic. But we're not done because guess what? There's even more miniatures as I alluded to in this box. We have yet more miniatures. Oh, oh good golly. Crikey. Crikey moly. Talk about getting banged for your buck here. So the eagle eyed amongst you might have noticed a mild breaking service there. Because there's so much stuff, the battery ran out on my camera, so I had to swap batteries. So these guys here, uh, I believe, uh, shouldn't be this colour. These should be the dark colour, because uh, this lighter colour is kind of the colour of the heroes. I think it was a mistake at the factory. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, I will know that they are uh, the bad guys there. What do we have over here? Let's have a look. Some of these, these things down here. That looks like all sorts exploding from the ground on this one. And what do we have here? We have... Oh, I don't know. Traps. Yeah, man traps or bear traps, whatever you want to call them. I'm sure they're placed on the floor. There's so much stuff. We have... Uh, this guy's got maybe a plague mask on, or maybe it's a beak. No, it's a beak. I thought it might be a plague mask, but it's a beak and some kind of sickle or scythe there. We have... Oh, what's this in here? I don't know the stuff I can't get out so far. <laughs> there is that much stuff. It is literally jammed to the rafters. We have a pit of spikes just there. Uh, in this bit here, is it not allowing me to come out, is it? I'm just trying to get these out here. So maybe I'll take one of these guys out. Oh, and then I don't have to worry too much about breaking stuff. Oh, there we go. Phew. There's a knack to that and I've just found out what it is. That looks like some kind of coffin or sarcophagi uh, with slab. So they go back in there. Spikes. We have a skelly bob. Look at this guy. Well, he's not quite a skelly bob. It's somebody that is so emaciated, though. They are practically worn away. That's somebody that is in need of a good meal, I by the looks of it. Oh, brilliant. We have some of the smaller characters here, like this guy. Look at him. Little, little, like devil type character look at that look at him it's tiny compared to oops compared to these guys so some kind of demon child coming in uh what else have we got guys we got uh, some ratus figures 
Again, more kind of Rattus wizardy type figures here. We have some banners. <laughs> oh God, we have so much stuff. Right, so that is the stretch goals box. And I think that anybody that kind of um, uh, knows uh, Blacklist Games from uh, Street Masters and Aftershock knows that with the stretch goals, they, you know, because their games are so, so popular, you really do get a lot of bang for your buck there. I mean, there is so much stuff in the stretch goals there. And we're not even all the way through because, because as well as the stretch goals, phew, we're going to now look at the Ruins of Arkenspire expansion. Let's get this here. Oh, wow. Okay. So here we go. And you can see, again, we've got this wonderful evocative artwork on there. An expansion by Adam and Brady Sadler. And you know what? Given the amount of content that's here, this thing is not that late in delivering to backers, basically. You know, if we have to wait a few few weeks or a couple of months more than what we originally, originally thought uh, to get a Kickstarter, uh, Kickstarter game, and it comes with all this content, then it's more than worth it. And uh, Sadler's and Scotty and everybody involved at Blacklist, thank you very much for looking after all of us that back your games because the amount of content that you put is just absolutely fantastic. So we have the ruins of Arkenspire. So we have a story guide and this again like uh, like the stuff that's in um, in the main game you'll go to these various chapters. There are additional rune, rules for the ruins of Arkenspire. So it tells you about the expansion itself, what the icon is, secret boxes, encounters and encounters set up. So it's got secret boxes, guys. We have some additional map tiles as well. Double-sided, a little bit of a uh, D-lamb there on one of them. That's fine. I'll get in touch with, uh, with the guys at Blacklist. They're very good at getting stuff sorted out, so that's okay. And then we have in the box itself, and it is just one box, oh, thankfully, on this. So... Obviously, I'm not going to look into the secret boxes. So there is stuff within these secret boxes. Do not open until instructed. I haven't been instructed. Nobody's told me to look in there, so I'm not looking in there. We have the various kind of card dividers there. Profaned and the Arkham Hold. And we also have some more packs of cards here. We have the cards for the Profaned. We have the Profaned Shambler. Threat turn. We have the Arkenhold Hold as well. And guess what, guys? Just in case you didn't have enough, there are more minis. This is just fantastic. We have these icy blue women with dual axes there. Look at that, they're great. We have this kind of zombie looking knight thing here. Sorry, guys, that wasn't in focus. This zombie looking knight just here. Okay. We have. <laughs> this big brutish guy here. Look at this. He's got this this weird kind of spear thing. Okay. Uh, oh. What is this? This is, I don't know, some kind of demon magician lord, maybe. I don't know. We have uh, this wonderful uh, coffin that's open, or whatever's in there that's got free. And finally, we have... Oh. I thought, no, no, it's got a bone. It's got a bone in its hand. Right, I thought it was a bottle. I thought it was something drunken. So we have something here that's got a bone in its hand. It's going to come at you, and it's going to try and eat your brain, maybe. Who knows? And that's what you get in the ruins of Arkenspire. It's a whole new campaign, uh, adventure that you get in there, should I say. And again, that's just utterly fantastic. There's so much stuff to go out. It's going to take me years to literally go through this stuff. But guess what? Guess what, people? That's still not it, because we have the first four as well. And here we go. Here's the first four. An expansion by Adam and Brady Sadler. And it says here, uh, when the first four races of uh, Easterny made an alliance after years of conflict, it began an age of heroes and prosperity. Explore the legend of the first four in this heroic expansion for Alter Quest. With this hero pack, you'll be able to take on the roles of legendary heroes that once sieged the Tower of Arkenspire to lay waste to the like Queen Sarah, freeing the lands of Ar Ar Aridica. From her foul tyranny, this expansion includes four brand new hero decks, four highly detailed miniatures to be used in your Alter Quest adventures. Right, so let's have a look inside 
this particular little box. So I say, when I went all in, I really did go all in in my pledge for this. So about 18 months ago, um, you know, I'd, I'd, I think I'd already, I hadn't even received um, uh, Street Masters by that point. Uh, so I hadn't played, <laughs> I hadn't played a Blacklist game at that point, but I knew that it, it looked like my kind of game. So we have some tokens here. We have some traps and some musical notes. And we have some Illuminati looking symbols with triangle with the eye in. And again, some musical notes. We have uh, some more dividers. And here we have the four heroes. Okay, so there, here we go. We got the lady, no, not a lady. Sorry, my mistake. The, uh, the guy with the trident. We have a lady with a, uh, with a crossbow. We have somebody with a lute there, basically. I think looks like some kind of musical instrument. Maybe a little lady, I don't know. And we have the big swinging axe guy. This guy has got some kind of complex because he has a huge weapon in his hands. Sorry. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, this tells you the various people. So we have Willow Banks and Gavin Ulrich, and then there'll be others on the back of there as well. Um, Aveth Namura. Uh, so yeah, those are the cards for the various heroes. And this adds an entirely new kind of mini campaign onto there, which is a mini expansion onto there, which is utterly fantastic. So there we go. It tells you there details on how the expansion works. And that's for the first four. So wow, that's all of the box content we've got, but we know that is not everything because guys, I of course also went and bought the neoprene mats as well. I had these in my packs. So let's lay a neoprene mat out. Oh. So I think this is the base game neoprene mat. The colors really, really pop on this. I'm really, really pleased with the, um, with the depth of color on neoprene. Sometimes neoprene can be a, uh, a medium that kind of mutes the colors ever so slightly. But yeah, the colors really, really pop on those. And then we have, of course, the expansion neoprene mat as well. Oh, sorry for the noise. And here we go. So this is for the expansion. So I didn't open up the expansion board. Uh, of course, that was in the Ruins of Arkenspire, but you can see there, those are the colours, and these are really, really, really good. So, I probably will be using the mats rather than the boards, um, because I do like the feeling of, uh, of moving pieces across neoprene. I am now just so excited to start diving into Alter Quest and learning the world of Alter Quest by Adam and Brady Sadler, published by Blacklist Games. O M. F G. That is so much content. I my tiny mind is absolutely blown. If this offers just like kind of an inkling of the playability and the amount of playtime that I got out of Street Masters Aftershock, then I'm going to get so much more playability out of Alter Quest. What I'm liking about this, not only the raft of miniatures, not only you know everything that you get in all the stretch goals, and thank you to everybody like me who backed the game that allowed us access to all that wonderful stretch goal content. Um, it's the fact that it looks you know, like just some kind of really epic adventure uh, that I'm going to start creating on here and adventures that I'm going to have. And we've got the various expansions and everything in here just to make it just a fully pleasurable experience. I'm so looking forward to learning the rules. It's come on a Monday. I wanted it here for the weekend, but it's arrived on a Monday. I'm so looking forward when work is finished throughout this week in terms of kind of laying this out, getting into it, reading the rules, playing the game, playing it slightly wrong to start off with, and then kind of expanding on that as I go through. As I say, uh, for anybody that's played um, kind of uh, Street Masters or Brook City, then you will know how the modular deck system works. So some of this may welcome as second nature. So much content. Adam, Brady, Scotty, everybody involved at Blacklist Games, thank you so much for <laughs> creating this just this behemoth of a journey that we've all got ahead of us. I'm so glad I went all all in back on this. In uh, I think it was May 2019 when I first backed when I backed this. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to learning this. 
Give me about a month or so, obviously, there's plenty to go out here. Give me a month or so before I can start forming an opinion, but there will be a review, if not the back end of this year, early part of next year on Alter Quest. And I'm hoping, really hoping that like Street Masters, it kind of just instantly will make my top 10 list. So thank you very much for joining me on this fairly long unboxing journey of Alter Quest by Blacklist Games. Um, my name's Mark, this is Not Board Gaming. <laughs> Please follow me on Facebook or on Instagram or on Twitter. That's Not Board Gaming, always B-O-R-E-D. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out our other videos. Bear with me whilst I go on this epic, epic journey. Uh, and one final thought, if you can't find anybody else to play with, there's nothing wrong with playing with yourselves. Until next time, bye-bye.